Hey guys, Toast here. Today we're going to review and discuss the Mondragon, a semi-auto rifle for the medic class in Battlefield 1. We'll discuss the stats of each of the different variants, attachments, the situations in which the weapon excels, and some tips when playing with this particular weapon. The Mondragon comes in three different variants, Storm, Optical, and Sniper. The three variants are capable of being viable at most ranges, however they're each designed to be used at a particular range. The weapon has a maximum damage of 40 and minimum damage of 35, making it a three-shot body shot kill from all ranges. The only other weapon in the medic's arsenal that can do that are the Selb Slaughter M1916 and 1906. They all have the same damage drop-off, dealing maximum damage from point-blank up to 26 meters, and then dropping off to the minimum damage at 51 meters. The rate of fire for all variants is 257 rounds per minute, placing it as the second lowest rate of fire weapon for the medic class. To make up for that, it actually has the highest muzzle velocity of all the class weapons, making it the easiest to use at those further ranges. The variants all have a recoil pattern of 0.6 degrees vertical and 0.192 degrees horizontal, which actually places it as the lowest recoil weapon in the medic's arsenal. All three variants have 10 rounds in the magazine before needing to reload, and similar to the Che Rigotti, the Mondragon reloads using a 5 round charger clip when missing 5 or 10 rounds, and then single bullet reloads for everything less than 5 rounds still needing to be reloaded. The defining characteristics of each of the variants comes into play with the handling. The Storm is your Iron Sights variant, cementing its status as the most close-range variant of the group. Because of this, it has the lowest recoil of all variants, making quick follow-up shots more accurate. The Optical variant, as with other Optical variants of weapons, offers an optical scope and has the lowest ADS spread while moving. This makes it the ideal variant for taking mid-range shots, while also being able to strafe without losing accuracy. The Sniper variant, as the name implies, is designed to be used at longer ranges. Its higher magnification scope and low ADS spread while not moving means that you'll want to plant yourself and take shots prior to moving on to your next location. Overall, the attachments available for the different variants are pretty similar. The Storm variant is the only one with iron sights. You have the option of two different iron sights, Standard and Buckhorn, as well as magnifications of 1x up to 2x. You also have the option of attaching a bayonet for melee kills. The Optical variant features the same optical sights as other optical variants in the game, giving you two circular and two cross reticles. The magnification of this variant ranges from 1.25x up to 2.5x, and you can also attach a bayonet. The Sniper variant has a long-range scope that allows you to choose from cross, chevron, beam, and post reticles. It has magnification of 2.5x up to 4x, and you can also attach a bayonet. Each variant, while viable at all ranges, is designed for a specific range primarily due to the sights and recoil and spread. The Storm variant is designed to be used for closer ranges. It has the lowest magnification of all variants, making it easiest to track closer range targets, and its low recoil but equivalent hipfire to all other variants means that you want to aim down sights with this particular variant whenever possible. The Optical variant is your mid-range option due to the optical sight and low ADS spread while moving. It allows you the freedom to try and dodge enemy fire while still accurately returning fire. The Sniper variant is your long-range one due to the fact that it has a range scope and the lowest ADS spread while standing still. This is the variant that you want to use while staying back and taking pot shots at the enemy as your team starts to push forward. The Mondragon is actually one of my favorite semi-auto rifles in the game. Its power combined with low recoil and high minimum damage makes it viable at all ranges. Its biggest downfall, however, is the slow reload time. It actually has a slower single bullet reload time than the Che Rigotti, so you really want to try and reload at either 5 bullets left or empty whenever possible. Remember, if you have anything other than 5 or 0 bullets left, you'll reload a portion of your remaining ammo in individual bullets. The Mondragon is, in my opinion, the best general purpose semi-auto rifle in the game. Its high damage makes it capable of holding its own in close range engagements, its recoil makes it ideal for picking off mid-range targets, and the optical and sniper variant's low spread makes it great for accuracy downrange. This is actually the first weapon I would recommend purchasing for the meta class once you have the War Bonds, as it pretty much outclasses the Che Rigotti in almost all aspects. Headshots with this weapon can actually make or break your success in an engagement, particularly at close range. Because of the high maximum damage, a single headshot is going to do over 60 damage, making it capable of taking out an enemy in two shots up to 41 meters, 
After which though, even with a headshot, it'll still be a three-shot weapon. In general in Battlefield, if you have the opportunity to take a moment to line up a headshot before engaging, it's always a good idea, but this weapon in particular will reward you even greater for this. One of the great benefits of this weapon is that all variants, while designed for different ranges, are viable at all ranges. Ultimately, whichever style of sight you prefer should probably be the deciding factor on which variant you use. They're all going to be decent at close range, great at mid range, and decent at long range, so ultimately what you want to see when you aim down sights is what you should pick. Now I want to know how you feel about the Mondragon. Do you like the weapon and feel that it's viable? Or do you feel that there are other weapons that may be a better choice for the medic class? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, please leave a like, and if you want to see more content, please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, this is Toast, and I'll talk to you soon.